Hello, I am Christian Vede and this is why you feel the need to breathe. If you take a deep breath now and try to hold your breath as long as you can, you will probably be fine the first 20 to 30 seconds. Then you will start to feel the need to breathe. If you hold a bit longer, it will feel unbearable and you will just start breathing again. Most people think that, oh, I am running out of oxygen and that's why I really need to breathe right now. But that is in fact not the case. Even though you eventually do need to breathe because you will run out of oxygen, it is not the lack of oxygen that makes you feel the need to breathe. It is the buildup of CO2 in your lungs and in your bloodstream that triggers the breathing reflex. So when you think you're out of air, you can actually hold your breath quite a bit longer. If I take a deep breath now and try to hold, I will be fine for the first minute or two. And then I will feel the need to breathe. If I hold a bit longer than that, I will get something called contractions. That is the diaphragm trying to contract and make me breathe. If I hold a bit longer than that, it starts to become increasingly more uncomfortable to hold the breath, but I can still push it longer. Eventually, what will happen is my sight will become narrow, so I will see less on the sides, and I will also lose the ability to distinguish between different shades of red. When that happens, I'm very close to blacking out. And if I hold a bit longer, I will black out. And as long as I'm on land and laying comfortably down, it's not a problem because my body will just start breathing again. But if I am in water, I will drown. So as many people have tried, they hyperventilate. Hyperventilating is breathing in and out very fast like this. <sighs> What happens then is they air out a lot of the carbon dioxide in the lungs that pushes the breathing reflex further away, which means you will feel the need to breathe later. And what happens very often when people black out in the pool and drown is they have been hyperventilating first and their breathing reflex has been pushed past the limit of where they run out of oxygen. And that means they will go from holding their breath feeling fine to just boop, boop, blacking out. That is why it's very dangerous to hyperventilate before holding your breath in water. Freedivers are experts at holding their breath. And one of the main rules of freediving is never hold your breath underwater alone because you want someone there to help you if you get in trouble. And the second rule is never hyperventilate before holding your breath in water. Because the risk of blacking out is so big when you do that. It so that's it. The reason you feel the need to breathe is not the lack of oxygen, it is the buildup of CO2 in your lungs. I hope you found this helpful and subscribe for more content like this. Have a nice day.